Hello. Welcome back to Crash Bandicoot. Uh, last time we actually got our first colored gem, and I guess we could go back and get some of the stuff we missed with those gem paths, maybe. I think it's only like one level though, and if memory serves, I, I don't remember like exactly which gems go to which areas, but if memory serves, it's just like one of the ones where you just go back and there's like two seconds of additional content, so I, I don't really care. I'm kind of saving those for the end anyway. So, yeah, we're going to be starting on Temple Ruins. These level types always scared me as a kid, and I'm not entirely sure why. Like, I mean, normally I'd get it, because they're vaguely spooky, like, tomb areas, and, like, it's basically just a bunch of platforms suspended in the air. It's... I don't know. Like, I feel like a lot of people find that sort of thing a little unnerving when they're kids, but when I was a kid, I was never really scared of a lot of things. Like, there were things that scared me, definitely, but... It was usually stuff like, um, uh, what's a good example? Uh, blood, like, always got me, like, I remember, like, watching Rugrats or whatever, and, like, Tommy cut his finger on some, like, ivy or something, and that freaked the hell out of me. Like, I'm still not great with, like, realistic blood right now. But, I don't know, that was just one of the things that, like, always scared me as a kid, but usually it isn't, like, video games that scared me as a kid, because, like, I don't know, like, I'm a dumb kid, I'm trying to figure out how to wrangle this controller right now, because I'm a dumb kid, this doesn't really come natural to me yet. As opposed to now, where I can pretty much just adapt to any kind of controller in like two seconds. But for some reason, this level was one of the few in-game things that ever scared me as a kid, and I'm not sure why. Oh! oh. Well, guess where we're starting. Uh, I think this is closest to where I died, right? I want to say so. Yeah, this looks a little further than I got, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna roll that for a bit and assume so because i wasn't really paying too much attention to where i was at and yeah there's a checkpoint right there uh so what's been going on recently well not a whole lot since then it's still hell season um though actually interestingly enough uh i guess since people nowadays are like looking into bottled water a little more. Hey, this is signposting. Or something to that effect. Um, that actually does remind me. Like, kind of recently, I saw, like... So people these days are getting, like, more bottled water because, I don't know, I guess they might think maybe there's something in the system and maybe, like... If I drink tap water, maybe that'll get me the virus. I'm not entirely certain on that, but I mean, you do you, I guess. But like, kind of recently, um, like I saw this one like Twitter thread that was just like a bunch of those. One's gotta go things are like Nickelodeon cartoons, like old teen sitcoms or whatever. 
and one of the one of them was about bottled water companies and i'm just sitting here thinking like do people have like favorite brands of bottled water like are there Dasani fanboys out there? <laughs> oh, oh, well. Alright, this I want to say it was like the checkpoint that I died at, so I'm just gonna roll with that. But yeah, like. I don't know. Like. Maybe I'm just missing something, but all bottled water tastes the same to me. Like, all water tastes the same to me. Well, not necessarily, but... Like, if you're packaging water into a bottle to sell it, then generally speaking, yeah, all of it pretty much just tastes the same. It tastes like water. Usually clean water. Like, the only real way you can make water taste different is if you, like, do some kind of, like, additional bullshit to it after the fact. Like, I don't know, put chemicals or whatever in it. But, like, I don't know, the only times I've had water that tasted different from just a water taste is, like, if I'm just drinking it out of a bad tap, basically, like, every fucking tap I've ever had. And I don't know, like, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there's just these subtle differences between Dasani and, like, what's another bottled water company? Like, fucking Fago or whatever. Oh, hey. By the way, um, this is one of the level types that, like, every level for is bad. I'm not really demonstrating that super well here, but, uh, yeah, oh, ooh, that was close. Uh, you can't hurt those, uh, bulls if you saw. There was, like, a bull over there. I think I missed a checkpoint and didn't save at it, but, okay, here we go, we got another one here. And yeah, I'm basically just giving up and save stating on all of these. Because I, uh... I don't know. I kind of don't want to go back and get all of these, but I don't want to spend, like... Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind. But I kind of don't want to spend all year trying to like, get all of these on screen I'm trying to think of interesting things to say. You know, this one's actually not giving me as much trouble as I remember it giving me. Oop. Spoke too soon. Oh well. I feel like it's definitely like a lot harder in the, in the remake, just because they changed the hitboxes up. Uh, if you're not aware of that, by the way, um, I doubt anyone who would be watching someone play Crash Bandicoot in 2020 doesn't know about the changed hitboxes in the remake, but uh, if you don't, then I guess let me explain. If I can stop dying. And I, I was doing so well for the longest time, and suddenly. You know what? Let's fix this.
Yeah, you can literally just do that and cheese, like, all of these. Or jump off the ledge. That also helps, I guess. Jumping onto them can be a bit tricky, so... I guess there's that, but... Yeah, that's what, like, a lot of people do on these levels, because they just don't want to bother with the platforming. And I should probably stop attempting that, because it's just going to be eating into my lives and making me look like a dumbass. For as much as I'm not already doing that myself... Yep. Oh boy. That was annoying. There we go. Okay. Oh. Well, at least there was a checkpoint there. And yeah, you kind of have to be careful about this guy, because uh, you do need him to continue on. I guess it's good that I didn't actually have the ability to finish this level right away. Because, yeah, these levels are pretty hard. It can be kind of stressful if you're trying to get them totally cleared out. Uh, I think it's a boulder level, so yeah, we can totally do that. No, yeah, whatever, I'll go with it. My live count doesn't really matter right now. <laughs> Like, I'm not what one would call an expert at video game, but I'm at least decent enough to where I don't die that often. Like, I don't die often enough to where I'll get a game over anytime soon. Oop. I did just die immediately there. Not sure what exactly caused that though, because <laughs> I didn't exactly stop. Pretty sure I wasn't being held up by anything anymore. Well, that time it was.
You know, actually, I think, now that I remember, I think this is one of all we actually can to get the gem on right away. I know there was one boulder level like that. There's like a gem path, like, at the end of the level. So I should probably just not worry about gems or dying or whatever. And there we go. Okay. And then I say that and then it's going to turn out that no, I'm thinking of a different level. Pretty sure I'm not, though. I don't remember being too far in. Yep, there it is. Well, there it was, anyway. Uh, can I? No, I can't get to show up again. But it does now. So yeah, I missed... ...18 boxes. So yeah, there's actually a little bit of content left. What's the next idiot? level? Not video. Sunset Vista. This is like a full level, so yeah, I guess we're gonna cut it here. So, I'll see y'all next time for Crash Bandicoot. Later, everybody.